guys, Kelly here, and I wanted to share with you today some middle grade book recommendations. If you haven't seen my recent video where I talked about the readathon that I'm helping to host in July, it's called Middle Grade Magic and it runs from July 14th to 24th. So I'll link the announcement video and all of my co-hosts down below because I'm sure all of them will be giving recommendations as well. And so I'm going to go through some of the prompts that we talk about in the readathon and suggest some middle grade books, even if you are not participating in the readathon, but you just want to hear about some really good middle grade literature, go ahead and listen to some of my recommendations. So going through the prompts, the first prompt had to do with reading your favorite genre. So I'm going to wait and talk about that one at the end. I want to get to some of the more serious topics and own voices. So I'm going to start with the second prompt, which is to read a middle grade novel that handles a serious or important topic. And I have four that I want to share with you. The first is called Harbor Me by Jacqueline Woodson. And this is a contemporary book about six students who are put together in a group to just talk. So they're not in like a class. It's kind of more of like an open time for them to just talk about what's going on in their lives. And each one of them share their own story. There's talk about immigration and parental incarceration, racial issues, family issues. And it's just a really, wonderful story about where each kid gets to share what's happening in their life. It's very relevant to today. The next book is A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. And a lot of you have probably heard about this. It's kind of a more fantasy type book where a monster comes and talks to a boy. And it basically the book deals with grief. The next book I want to recommend is Wish Tree by Katherine Applegate. And this is a book written from the perspective of a tree. And this time of the year, I think it's in May, maybe May Day, where everybody ties onto the tree one of their wishes. And that's kind of like something she's talking about. But then the overall book also deals with acceptance because there is the tree is on the yard of a girl who is um, being kind of bullied and made fun of from other people in the community just because of who she is. And so there's that talk also about um, standing up for each other and accepting other people. And the last one I want to talk about is Kira Kira by Synthony Katohata. And this is a book that is about a Japanese American family. There's a lot of information in this book about labor issues that are happening. I can't remember now when this takes place. It might have been in the 40s. I don't know. I can't remember. I'm sorry. And, but it is at a time when there were a lot of problems with labor laws and issues. And so her family is in factories and kind of the things that they are going through with that. And then the issues the whole family has to go through um, being from a more lower income family. The third prompt is to read a middle grade book that is own voices. And I have five different books I wanna recommend for you from that. The first book I wanna recommend is George by Alex Gino. And this is about a trans girl who is kind of learning how to like express her identity to her family and the other people around her. The author is also trans. The next book is Catching a Story Fish by Janice and Harrington. And this is a book about a young African American girl who grew up in Alabama, but then is having to move into the North and, um, you know, doesn't feel quite like she fits in. And it's also a book that's written in verse. So if you're looking for a quick read and it's something a little more interesting that delves into a lot of different kinds of poetry, because the author kind of like each little section of the book has a different poem and she kind of talks about different forms of poetry at the end. This would be a good one for a quick read. The next one is El Delfo by C.C. Bell and this is actually a graphic novel and both the main character and the author are both deaf. So this is the author talking about her childhood and her first experience having hearing aids and a special hearing device that she had to wear that made it so the other kids in her class knew that she was different than them and her first kind of experience with that. The next one is Amina's Voice by Hena Khan, and this is about a Pakistani American Muslim girl and kind of her struggles of dealing with um, fitting into her school and the people around her while still keeping a lot of the things about her culture alive. And there's a lot of family relationships. I don't read a lot of contemporary, but this was one of my favorites from last year. And so I really highly recommend this book. 
And the next one is Ivy Aberdeen's Letter to the World by Ashley Karen Blake. And this is an LGBT plus book for middle grade, which there aren't a lot in the middle grade age range. So I would highly recommend this one because it's just really good. I love the way we really dive into how the main character is feeling. Ivy, we learn about her. She has a hobby of drawing that we learn a lot about and her connection to that. There's a lot of family issues. Her family just went through a tornado and you know the loss of possessions and stuff like that. She's going through a lot of issues with her friends and it's just a really well done story and a really fleshed out main character that I would really hi highly recommend. And then the prompt for number four is bending the rules where we take some of the like main things that make up middle grade and think of books that maybe fit some of those but don't completely fit into that age range because it is so hard when we are looking at the marketing of books that sometimes publishers say a book is middle grade when it really could fit anywhere or else they might say a book is young adult or adult but could be read by kids that are in middle grade. So I have two recommendations for this and one of them is The Prince and the Dressmaker by Jen Wang and this is a graphic novel about a prince who at night likes to wear dresses and become a different persona as a woman. And this book is is marketed as a teen book but I think that there's nothing in it that would make it unacceptable for younger kids to read. About the only thing there is in there is there's like one scene of drinking um, where the prince drinks a little too much and so I would say maybe it's like age nine and above but I think it could still be a really cute read for a middle grade student and I really love this it's like my favorite graphic novel ever now so I would highly recommend it for adults too and then the other one is the books that have Alana in it which is the Song of the Lioness series by Tamara Pierce and the reason I say this bends the rules is because even though it's a four book series the first one is said to be middle grade but then the next one next three are all like young adult books but I know a lot of people that read these as a middle schooler read the whole thing there is some content that makes it more of a teen book so that's why this whole series doesn't really fit in one age group so it bids the rules on whether it fits in as middle grade teen adult whatever so those are my recommendations for kind of those three different prompts and then the first prompt is to read a book from your favorite genre and the last prompt is just to read a book that you are really excited about and my favorite genre to read as middle grade is fantasy. I don't read a lot of middle grade contemporary, unfortunately, so that's why I didn't have a lot to share with you other than the ones that I talked about earlier. So I'm just going to share some of my favorite middle grade fantasy books and authors. So first, one of my favorite authors is Gail Carson Levine. I've read four of her, well, I've read five of her books, but I have loved four of her books. And those were The Two Princesses of Bamar, Ella Enchanted, Fairest and A Tale of Two Cities. All those were really fun. She kind of based her books on kind of fairy tale retellings like Aunt Ella Enchanted is a Cinderella retelling, but some of them aren't necessarily based off a specific fairy tale, but they have that kind of fairy tale feel to them. And I would recommend all of the, those four that I read and she has other ones that I haven't read yet. And then another one of my favorites is Shannon Hale. And some of my favorites of her are Princess Academy Books of Bayern and A Book of a Thousand Days. And Book of a Thousand Days is my favorite book probably of all time, so I would definitely suggest that one. But all of these are also kind of more like fairy tale type books. So if you would like those kind of things, I would recommend both those authors. Another book that I really enjoyed recently was East by Edith Pateau. And this is a retelling of the folk tale East of the Sun, West of the Moon. And it's kind of like also Beauty, Beauty and the Beast type of story. So I would really highly recommend it if you were looking for something that, um, if you're a Beauty and the Beast fan and would like something that is similar vibe in that to that and has a strong female protagonist. And then the last one that is one of my new favorite children's books is The One and Only Ivan by Katherine Applegate. And even though this isn't necessarily fantasy, I'm putting in there because the main character is a gorilla and we hear from the gorilla so that kind of seems like fantasy to me just because we don't normally hear from the the perspective of an animal and it's just an amazing book it is really funny and sad at the same time it's about 
a gorilla that lives in captivity and we're hearing his perspective of how he wants to go and see the outside world but he's comfortable and used to his friends and community that he lives in in this mall in this cage and so it's just really amazing I would highly suggest it so those are all some of my favorite middle grade books some ones that would fit into this middle grade magic readathon if you are interested in reading some more middle grade. If you have a favorite middle grade book that you would like to recommend to me, I would love to hear about it because I still haven't figured out my TBR for the readathon and also I just like to read middle grade books in general. And especially give me some contemporaries to read because it's hard for me to just go and pick up a contemporary middle grade book because I just love the fantasy one so much. So if you have a favorite middle grade contemporary, I'd love to hear about it. Thanks, bye.